Hi everyone. So my name is Ichtai Dadu Indrani, and this is my sample English teaching for Simaku E 2011, code 201, question 91 until 100. All right. So in this question, we have a passage talking about scorpions, right? Okay. So first of all, I want you to read um skim this passage so not taking a long time but to remind you that you don't have to read and know every single word that is written on the passage just take the main points there and then you go straight to the question number 91 so the following are question that SH passage tries to address except which one a, what do scorpion looks like? Yes, in, in the paragraph one, it talks about that. How do scorpions eat? In the paragraph two, it talks about how it eats or digests its prey. And C, how venomous are scorpions? Uh, does it talk about the venomous of scorpions? I don't think so. And then D, where can scorpions be easily found? Which means at the places where scorpion live there's in the last paragraph. So I would answer question 91C because in the paragraph, it's not talk about the venomous of scorpions. And then question 92, the word carapace in line seven is closest in meaning to, let's go to line seven. Okay. So the upper side of the cephalothorax is a flat carapace bearing a pair of large median eyes and a group of two to five small eyes on each side margin. So in here, we can see it's a flat carapace bearing a pair of large median eyes. So it's in between the median uh, eyes of the scorpions, like you can see they're, they're protected by this thing called carapace. Right? So remember how a scorpion is shaped. Which one is the closest one? Is it body? I don't think so because it's between eyes. Is it covering? Might be. Is it waist? No, it's between eyes. Is it tusk? Maybe. Maybe it's tusk. But you can see in uh, the animal of the scorpions, there's something covering in their eyes, right? So which is why I would choose B a covering because as you can see it's between the eyes and this carapace is burying them right the following animals would most likely be a scorpion spread except okay so we're gonna go look for uh the food that the scorpions eat or they eat spray all right in line six so spine-like thing is in position to strike insects, spiders, and other small living animals that the scorpion preys on. Scorpion eats insects. So beetles, yes. Spiders, yes. Grasshopper, of course. Birds. Is birds a an insect? I don't think so. So I would answer 93 with birds. Okay. Let's go on to 94. According to the passage, the following are parts of a scorpion's body used to attack its victim, except the sting. Of course, uh, the scorpio used its sting to attack its prey. Its legs, does it use its legs? Pinchers, yes, they use pinchers. And the last one, chalicerae. Is it used chalicerae? Okay, let's find in the passage. So held out in front of the test terrain is a pair of long robust petty palpi provided with stout pinchers. It used pinchers, which are used to hold the prey. A small but strong pair of jaw-like jaw chalicerae in front of the mouth aids. So chalicerae, yes, in front of the mouth mates in crushing the body of the victim. So I would answer 94 with legs because it's not mentioned there that the legs do any particular important um, assignment for 
uh, digesting its prey or attacking its prey, so the legs. Question 95. According to the passage, which of, which of the following is true about Scorpion? Their natural death is by stinging themselves. And then the average size is 9 centimeters. And then C, they like dam and cool areas. They lay eggs. Uh, okay, so let's go back to this paragraph. Um, most arachnids lay eggs. The scorpions are viviparous, bringing forth living young. So that means scorpions doesn't lay eggs. They, they bring forth uh, young version of uh, scorpions itself. And then the size. So in here you can see they are seven inches, about 180 millimeters or 18 centimeters. So it's not nine, it's more than that. And they live in, they abound in humid tropical areas and in hot deserts, which means they don't really survive in, hot, uh, in cold weather. So mostly they, they like tropical areas and hot deserts. A, I would choose their natural death is by stinging themselves. And the rest of these options are just not relevant. Okay, so move on. 96, the word they in line 24 refers to... Okay, in 24... No less a fable is the classic story that Scorpion commits suicide by stinging themselves when they are helplessly cornered. Okay, so this day refers to, I would say, Scorpions, right? Okay. But in here, in the option, we have A, Arachnids, B, Adult Scorpions, C, Female Scorpions, and D, Newly Born Scorpions. I would say it's an Adult Scorpions, B... The answer is B because it's talking about how the scorpion's uh, death, which is um, committing suicide or sometimes they just hear, you can see, they stings at random and sometimes striking its own body before succumbing. So it's kind of accidental. So I would say it's adult Scorpio. 97, which of the following best expresses the opposite meaning of the word frantic in line 25? Okay, uh, in line 25, surrounded by a ring of fire during frantic effort to escape the victim's thing at random. So I would say frantic in here means crazy or um, annoyed or, you know, someone's... You feel like someone's attacking you, so you feel frantic and you want to escape. You have to be carefully see that it wants its opposite meaning. So composed means calm, agitated means um, angered, annoyed, desperate means also the same, tense also the same. So I would say it's composed, which is the opposite meaning or the antonym of frantic. Okay. 98, which of the following about Scorpion is not supported by the passage? They are active during the day. No. As we can recall that Scorpions are nocturnal, so I would say 98 is A because it's not true. 99, Scorpions are abundant in the following areas except Alaska, no, Alaska is cold and Scorpio doesn't like to be in the cold area, so it's C, Alaska. Okay, British Columbia, yes. The last question, number 100, the passage would probably be a part of an assigned reading in which the following courses. All right, so in this passage, uh, it's talking about Scorpio and its body parts and how it's mating. So it's basically the biology of a Scorpio, right? So which is why I would choose the option C, biology, because it's obviously talking about the biology of this animal. Okay, so I guess that's all. Thank you so much for watching.